Yesterday was announced uh, Roland Jupiter X. <coughs> I am a big fan of Roland and uh, I have a lot of stuff uh, from Roland. Um, and you know, it was so disappointment for me that Roland didn't show any analog, fully analog Jupiter. And I think, you know, how many years we can, we need to wait for real analog stuff from Jupiter. Uh, it's, for me, this Roland X and Roland XM, they are, um, they are like having, you know, very expensive Roland Cloud. I have Roland Cloud, I am using Roland Cloud a lot but so why out should buy Roland X or Roland XM uh, I like how they how they uh, looks and other stuff but in this price range Roland X is for um, 2500 it's a lot of other cool analog synth you can buy for example David Smith Oberheim 6 you can almost buy Prophet 6 they are fully analog they are on discrete and you have you can have a really good instrument I have Prophet 5 I have Prophet 5 and Prophet 6 and the Prophet 6 is a really good instrument I also had a um, Oberheim 6, I sold it uh, for buying Jupiter 4 and you know when you s selling Oberheim 6 and and uh, add some money and buying uh, Roland Jupiter 4 it's it's no big price difference between Roland X and Roland X is just some plugins inside you know really really instrument so uh, I'd be really really straight and uh, honest and I think yeah how many years we need to wait for for real Roland Roland analog synth you know it can be like Jupiter 8M modern or Jupiter 6M modern but they should be real analog. The prices of Roland Jupiter 8 are so high. They are ridiculous. They, they, you know, they, it doesn't make sense to buy Roland Jupiter 8 because sound of Roland Jupiter 8 is not worth how many, how much it's, it's cost Jupiter 8 right now. It's cost like, like, <clears throat> it's cost like almost 15 15 thousand dollars you know it's 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 crazy it's complete crazy and probably some only some really rich mu musicians composers or only some collectors are buying Jupiter 8 and I have I have Roland Jupiter 8 boutique it's sounding cool I had some Roland Jup Jupiter uh, 6 and it was it was really good instrument but those instruments are are you know I love vintage instruments vintage synths but sometimes it's good to buy <coughs> to buy new one new new analog synth because there's no big chance that it will be broken uh, I have Prophet 5 and when I am switching it on I am just using using it for you know half hour one hour and I am switching off because I am I am really afraid to 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 be broken so it's not like Prophet 6 when I can you know at the morning turn it turn it on and then you know it can be in can be on like <coughs> six or eight hours so I think why why Roland is still you know miss miss from many years the last 
good Roland and really interesting synth from Roland was Roland GT. It was really good synth and still is really good synth. And after that it was something like Roland Jupiter 80. It was some rompler with, with Roland, with Roland uh, samplers. And I had Integra, Roland Integra. It's really good synth. But it's not sounding like real <coughs> Jupiter. It's not even sounding like plugins from Roland Cloud uh, or uh, Roland Jupiter Boutique. <coughs> then I have Roland Jupiter 8 Boutique. It's really good sounding plugin. But the differences, I can hear really uh, the differences. It's not sounding like <coughs> real Jupiter. And <coughs> And also the mo the biggest problems of Roland Jupiter 8 boutique, it's that it has only uh, eight voice uh, four four voice polyphony. It's really not enough to to play on it, because it's like you know when you are trying to play uh, some uh, some some hard uh, chords, they are you know this this instrument is choking. It's it's not playing uh, correctly. Uh, chords changes and now I have Roland X and I don't know really what I should buy it what I should buy you know for 2500 some some you know expensive plugins I have Roland Cloud it is really good sounding Jupiter 8 in Roland Cloud maybe Jupiter X will be sounding a little bit better, but the difference probably will be, you know, very small. So I am not, not, I am so disappointed. And yeah, I think, you know, I really like Roland stuff. I have Roland Jupiter 4, I have Roland SH2, I have Roland uh, J, JV8. 1080, I have run D50, it's great sounding synth. I have run samplers like S550, S10. Yeah, I I have also JV880 and, you know, System 8, it's, it's cool sounding synth, but still that's, that's its plug plugin. And also it is good sounding, but I so dislike how Roland System 8 looks like. I am probably not, you know, you know, I am not probably like this, all this different lights and green lights and something, stuff like, th like that. But also this, this, um, the surface of System 8 is so, f sorry for that, but it's so cheap and I want some buy to some really something solid so after system 8 i was really think that roland will be do some real analog scent roland did some jdxa but it was more like more like you know <coughs> some juno service it was also some dco not vco so yeah, I hope maybe, maybe in next five years, six years, Roland will be, will be release real analog, something like Jupiter 8, Godsend. Thanks.